Hi guys, my name is Alma. Uh, today, I'm going to explain you some very, very simple robotic speech things. And uh, I'm going to explain you some very very simple robotic speech thing. And uh, if you don't know what a robotic speech is, you're confusing, confusing everybody. Everybody's confusing robotic speech here. Robotic speech means when you study in your class, and the teacher or whoever will call it indirect speech. We call it indirect. We call it indirect speech. And uh, uh, so, indirect speech or reported speech is exactly the same. Uh, why or how to do we use reported speech? And we use this to report or we use this to report or to write somebody's somebody's what somebody has said yeah mm -hmm. uh, for example let's just, if somebody has told you something uh, this is going to be a quote yeah okay. a quote means um, if you copy uh, the person the person's words exactly and you have to be really, really careful to change their words. And the reported speech or indirect speech is usually only only used for writing. And the, so we don't really have to worry about all the rules when we speak. So we are just going to go through the present, the past, and the future. We are going to change quoted speech into the reported speech. This little presentation, I think it will help you. We are going to change, you understand, yeah? we are going to change quoted speech into indirect So, in the present tense, yeah, we have two tenses. We have present simple or we have present simple or present continuous. Okay? As, an, as an example, she, yeah, she, eats, she eats lunch. She eats lunch. Present simple. This is she eats lunch is present simple. This is something she does every day. She does every day, yeah. So if I wanted to report or write down this, I would use reported speech. Yeah? That would mean indirect. So she eats lunch. My present simple. I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my verb is and change it into past simple. So present simple verb, we are going to change to past simple. I would say, she said she at lunch. In this sentence, it is present is present simple. In the reported speech, at is my past simple. So, present simple.
simple change to the past simple in a reported speech. Another example. I, I, I never understand you, she told me. She told me she never understood me. Here, understand is in present simple. It's changed into the past. Let's see. Pre uh, if I have a, a present continuous example, this means uh, uh, something that this, uh, this means something the person is uh, doing now. For example, he is painting. Yeah? He is painting. So she is an artist. Yeah, and she is painting. She has got. A, oh, sorry. He is painting. He said she is painting. So she has got oh, some paintbrush and some paint and she's Painting, yeah. I'm sorry, she's painting. So we have to change this to past continuous. So if we have is painting, for example, this one, yeah, is painting. All we have to do to make this past continuous is change it to was painting. And present continues to past continues. The only thing that changes is our to be. Yeah. Verb change from present to past. He's painting. She's painting. He said she was painting. Okay. Moving right along. Or moving back to the future, we have present perfect. For example, a uh, uh, coded in a coded speech, yeah? I have broken the window. He admitted. He admitted that he had broken the window. Here, yeah, present perfect is changed into the past oh sorry sorry into the past perfect yeah this one yeah this one okay next question is I have been waiting since the morning he complained here this have been is changed into oops sorry had been Is changing. You confused? Okay. I have been. Let's repeat. I have broken the window. He admitted. He admitted that he had broken the window. Yeah, this have broken is changed into had broken. Is, I have been waiting since the morning, he complained. He complained that he had been waiting since the morning. Here is present continuous sense of present perfect continuous. Yeah? Present perfect continuous. It is changed into the past perfect continuous. You understand, yeah? In, if it is Present perfect in a quoted speech, then it changed. It changed in the indirect speech into the past. Perfect, yeah, or past, past perfect continuous. Okay. The next one is past simple. Past simple. For example, he took. He took my photo. He 
Look my photo. Yeah. In this uh, sentence, you, your verb is to, is a past one, yeah? So past simple, pres present goes of this, we have to change to, again, past perfect, yeah? So we are going to change this to, they said he had taken my photo She took my photo, yeah? Yes, she took my photo. Yes. In the uh, reported speech, in the, in the indirect speech, yes. this past simple change into past perfect. Into past perfect. Had taken. That means this two change into had taken. Uh, she took my photo. They said she had taken my photo. Fast person and uh, for example, he uh, uh, fast person and don't change it. It is cool, yeah. It is very easy for us. It's already done. Past perfect, you have to change to past perfect, so you don't have to change the grammar in this sentence. They had had, they had, had the dog, and uh, they said they had had a dog. But, so if you have a past sentence, it's present perfect, simple past or past perfect, all these are going to be changed, yeah, but not here. Here you don't need to change anything. Had was the past participle. And that's it. Future simple. Moving to the future, we have two future tenses in English. Future simple or simple future, which is going to be we, and we have future going to. Simple future, she will go. Future going to, they are going to play football with the, their new shoes. Do you? Okay. She will go. It changed into she would go. Yeah. If it is in quoted speech, yeah, in a quoted speech, if it is will go, then in a reported speech, in indirect speech, it is she said that she would go. That means will change into would. Yeah. It's also a verb. Will is changed. Changes mood. They are going to play football with their new shoes. It's called the teacher. In the indirect speech, it's they are going to play football with their new shoes. Are going is changed into the verb going. Okay. Uh, that means. So it is going to change to she would go. That's who yeah, will change into would and to be going is changed were going to. Okay. Uh, actually it is this is the thing which I wanted to explain you. This is very very simple thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, guys. Thank you for your attention. I think I explained everything I wanted to. And uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, stay safe. And see you. Bye.